Kazuhiko Akiyama. Kazuhiko Akiyama is a Sasuke All-Star who became the first man to achieve Captain Seiha. Doing so in Sasuke 4, he has not been able to repeat his success, however, due in part to an eye condition known as degenerative restenosis has plunged him for years. His eye condition also forced him to retire from crab trapping and he is now a a sports massage therapist. He has also ever been a soldier in Japan's self-defense force as a, a Greco-Roman wrestler, but has to retire from both due to mentioned eye condition. His victory in Sasuke 4 was his only trip to the final stage of the 20 tournaments he has entered. He has cleared the first stage six times, the second stage three times, the third and final stages once. Early Tournament Akiyama was given number 100 in Sasuke 2 due to, to setting a record in Kiniku Banzuki's Quick Muscle event. Having done 307 push-ups in 3 minutes and 1,500 push-ups in 45 minutes, he cleared the first stage with relative ease, finishing with just under 19 seconds left. However, he was unable to clear the second stage because he took too much on the Spray walk, leaving him with only 10 seconds by the time he reached the Gorn Hammer. As a result, he timed out on the wall. In Sasuke 3, Akiyama wore 99 and had yet another quick pace, but almost fell on the Sortatsu Kabe. Despite this, he took his time on the final two obstacles and even threw a peace sign to the camera before pressing the button. On the second stage, however, a mixture of being too careful on the spiral walk hesitating on the Gordon Hammer caused deja vu. As in the end, the former crab fisherman ran out of time in almost the same ex exact spot. Kazan Seiha Not being a seen as a serious threat to achieve Kazan Seiha after his failures, he was given 86 in the fourth tournament. Similar to the previous tournament, he was able to clear everything with ease and was rewarded with the second fastest known time in the first stage with 20.92 seconds left. In the second stage, third time lucky seemed to be the case for Akiyama. He sped through the spiral walk and the Gorn Hammer, leaving him enough time to clear the stage, but not before celebrating with a backflip at the, the finish gate. Despite it being his first attempt at it, the former crab fisherman made the redesigned third stage look like a child's playground. However, when he made his jump from the pipe slider, Akiyama fell just short of the platform. The sheer muscle and strength pulled him up, making him the only person to reach the final stage, where he made his ascent on the 15-meter Tsuna Nobori. He was able to clear it with a string speed of 24 seconds out the owl lauded 30 seconds becoming in the first person in Sasuke history to achieve Kazan Seiha and the only grand champion to achieve Kazan Seiha who was given under 90. After Kazan Seiha, Akiyama took five Sasuke five off to focus on training taking course to be a massage therapist and opening up a new massage center and came right back in Sasuke 6, where he wore 100 for the first time since his debut. He returned to prove everyone that his one wasn't a fluke, and it seemed to be true until he met the jump hang, which he never attempted before. There, he completely missed the trampoline jump, came nowhere near close to clear. A very sad scene for the grand champion, his longtime rival from Kinaku Bansuki area. Katsumi Yamada came to cheer him up. He was crying in despair, and still trying to sunk it in that it was the first time in his career. Had failed the first stage, it wouldn't be his last. As he was determined to be at this obstacle, he went to buy a trampoline and taking it out at, it at his home in Hokkaido before Sasuke ate. However, he went out on the same obstacle in the next two tournaments. Come then closer and closer each time. In fact, after all the first stage runs on Sasuke 8 finished, he was allowed by the producers to attempt the jumping again. It took him two tries, but eventually he was able to clear it and was very happy onwards. Frustrated by his jumping failures, Akiyama was even concerned retirement. So in Sasuke 9, that's what he was expected.
Akiyama probably think this would be the last time and was determined first day to get no mail at the cost. This sign was also seen by the producers who gave him the cut who did number 100 for the third and last time. However, the gods of Midoriyama denied him even an attempt at the jump hang as he shocked everyone by being taken out on the very first obstacle of the Guda Nobi after his foot touched the water while claiming the honor. Akiyama thought this isn't the farewell he wanted, so he continued training and even expanded his training course for the 10th anniversary term. He replaced a single rope on his jump hang for an actual net and even made a makeshift short Tatsukabe, both of which cost a total of $700,000. It was a very emotional tournament for Akiyama as he probably considered retiring at this point if he found the jump hang again. Praying at the bottom tower that has changed since he beat it years ago. His run arrived at last, wearing 981. He passed the first three obstacles. He meet, met again for the fourth time with the jump hang. He started to collect himself before the jump hang, started the run, and he did it! Nemesis was finally beaten. Sadly, through his run was cut short by the Sword Tatsuke Bay, and he was probably over from his small victory against the jump hang. He stared at the to sword Tatsuka Bay during the aftermath, but at least now he know he, he wasn't done yet. Sasuke 11 features one of Akiyama's most memorable moments. Four months before the tournament, Akiyama has hurt his knee in training and had to have surgery on it. Even months after, he wasn't even able to clear his Sword Tatsuka Bay. Despite this, he still decided to compete, now being joined with his brother. He had a close call on the balance bridge, but conforming his jump hangs clear for the last time was the flute before making it back to his new foe, Sword Tatsuka Bay. He took two attempts at it, and although he came close, his injury kept holding him. With time ticking away, he pushed through the pain and was able to clear the Sword Tatsuka Bay that blocked him. With less than 17 seconds left, he quickly traversed and scaled the Tarzan rope and rope climb, clearing the first stage with just a mere 0.3 seconds left, all for the first time in 3.5 years. He is, was very emotional, and his fellow alters rejoiced on the sidelines. He can even only say one sentence in his interview, I am so happy, before making his, his fellow alters. They welcomed him and celebrated his success which turns out wasn't fluke as he then repeated his ascent in the redesigned second stage, returning to the third stage before panel. In the next tournament, he continued his good form by making it to the third stage once more. There, he made it to the pipe liner, but fell short of the platform and missed the chance of trying second cousin's hand. This was his last attempt to, at the first uh, third stage, already proving himself this when he wasn't a flu, he tore down his home obstacles uh, shortly after he competed. Despite that, he still performed well into the Sasuke 13 trials, which he was able to qualify for the actual tournament courtesy of him finishing the trials with 11.1 seconds left, placing him at the 10th place. Came Sasuke 30, and he was expected to do once again, but he surprisingly fell on the new. Taka Bay, a series of tests later by TBS, and it was evident that his eye condition is getting worse, as Akiyama can't even read newspaper or press his telephones button until his eyes were a millimeter away from his, the items. Hence, starring Sasuke 14, he is now given lower numbers to make him able to compete in the daytime. He passed the Nijeta even in the better condition, but failed the sword to Kabe, and then he met the same fate in the next room. However, this streak was broken in Sasuke 60. He was able to clear the first stage, only to be one of many victims of the deadly mouse No one knows this would be his last time clearing the first stage. Sasuke 17 proved to be a disappointment as he fell on the new circle slider. However, 
He was there to witness his fellow All-Stars deny. No Makoto achieved Kanate Ha later that night, enjoying the celebration afterwards. Shin, Sasuke, and Antwerp. After Nagano's Kanate Ha, he vowed to retire. He skipping the next two tournaments, Sasuke 18 and 19, before making turn in the 20th anniversary tournament, in which he was the first competitor to run that day as he worked. 1901. Here, he struggled on the pool maze and lost his grip on the rope of the health pipe attack. When time was about to expire, he returned in Sasuke 22, but failed on the same obstacle, this time slipping on the hail pipe immediately after starting his run. He returned again in Sasuke 24, in which he took his revenge on the hail pipe attack, only to be defeated. One more time by the sword time security. In Sasuke 25, he wore number 98 as the last three bears were reserved for the three current grand champions. His progress was slow throughout the first stage as he was visibly hesitant and possibly slightly afraid to attempt certain obstacles such as the jump hang, bridge jump, and sword time security, with the latter making him time out. In the he made his final appearance in Sasuke 28, failing the spin in bridge, possibly due to not being able to see the spears of the school well due to competing at night. He was invited in to compete in the 30th anniversary tournament, but he declined the offer. He was present in Sasuke 32 on the occasion of the Nagano Makoto's tournament ceremony. He also took part in a side event in which competitors faced four first stage obstacles for real, and, and another four on a Super Mario Bros. game. He attempted it with seven other competitors, including Yamada Katsumi. However, his run was short-lived. He failed at the transition from the Quastif to Rolling Hill. He made a surprise return on the 40th anniversary tournament, wearing 3997.